The rain is going to fall. Jeremiah once asked a question that stated, Why would God let the wicked prosper? Jeremiah is frustrated, but the word says that it rains on the just and the unjust. So God is going to answer Jeremiah's question about why he is letting this happen. He says, If you have run with the footmen and they have wearied you, then how can you contend with horses? How can you run with horses, Jeremiah, in a time of peace when it's peaceful, when it's all quiet? Because when the Babylonians come, they'll be on horseback chasing you down. Do you think you can outrun horses? I've called you to do great things. A mighty ministry. Don't let horses wear you down. You can outrun horses. God said we can do all through Christ. Jesus who gives us strength. Even outrun horses, but to man this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. So can you outrun horses? Yes, the Bible clearly says so, the prophet Elijah did. Right after the prophets of Baal had tried to call down fire from heaven to take up their sacrifice and accept their offering. And this would prove that Baal would be the true God. It didn't work though, Elijah had another plan and he was going to put it into action. I want you to think about when he poured water onto the altar, soaking it. If you want God to bless your offering, whatever your life may be, you could be in a financial situation. You give an offering or you dedicate something that you are very hard working at and you want it to succeed in life. You dedicate it to God. So how do you let your offering or whatever you dedicate to God prosper? You open up your vessel and let the waters of the Holy Spirit come upon it. Because when the living water starts drenching your offering, whatever your offering may be, you drench it in water and God will honor it. That's what Elijah did. He first drenched the offering of the sacrifice with living water, and God answered his prayer and fire consumed the offering, licking up the water. Here we go again about the licking up of the water. It was fire, it was blazing, right? And it licked up the water, just like Gideon's men licked up the water with zeal, licking up the water, consuming it, and they consumed that water. The water had soaked the offering. It had soaked the wood and then the fire came down. The fire of God licked up that water. And now the enemies of God were scattered and destroyed. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Right? So now, they're in prosperity and they can, and this is when Elijah told Ahab to get up and eat and drink take and eat of the fat of the land. Remember, Israel's in a famine at this time. And Elijah said, Go ahead eat, drink for there is a sound of an abundance of rain. The rain is about to pour out the water on all flesh, right? The rain is about to pour. The famine that had been in the land of Israel for so long was about to end. God is about to pour out his spirit upon all flesh with the living water. The living water shall be consuming and drenching the land and the land will be fruitful again. Amen. So Ahab went up to eat and drink. He obeyed the prophet, Ahab wasn't a fool. He did what the prophet said. I will eat and drink now, even though we're still in a famine and you just killed all my prophets, but I will do what you say. Elijah had faith, he knew the rain was coming. He knew the water was about to pour down. Get ready to get down from the mountain. It's coming, it's time. He then outran Ahab down the mountain, remember, Ahab was on a chariot of horses. When the Spirit of God is upon you, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You can outrun the horses. Remember what God said to Jeremiah? This is what God says to us, if ministry tires you when it's peace, how can you outrun horses in war? God gave Elijah the ability to outrun horses in war. Glory to God! And the rain fell and his spirit poured out the land was fruitful again, and the famine ended. Elijah knew in the long run that if he stayed persistent, God would come through with his prayer, that the rain would come down again, the rain would come down, and he would be glorified. That's what you want God to do in your life. You want him to be glorified, whatever work you do for him, may he be glorified in it. Whatever the work is, let him get all of the praise honor, 
and glory for it. Let him that glory, let him glory in the Lord. When you open your heart as a vessel and let the living water come in, you dedicate your offering, your life, and your sacrifice. God is going to lift you and prosper you. Letting the water drench, what you have, whatever it is you have, let the water take hold and let the river flow and let the current take it to where it needs to go. You have great faith, right? Small is a mustard seed, but how much can a small seed do? It can grow into a mighty tree, right? Say unto the mountain, Be moved. You can do all through Christ. Jesus who gives you strength. So don't ever get tired of doing good. Don't ever get weary in your walk with God. There are times when people say I can't keep this up because I get burned out. Elijah got burned out, and when he got burned out, God strengthened him. God appeared to him in a still small voice and gave him strength when he was afraid. He ran away because he had defeated Jezebel and the prophets, and she wanted to kill him, and so he hid. In your ministry, you may get weary of many things. But when you feed upon his word, when you eat his word, and you let the living waters submerge you, you will become renewed as the eagles, your strength will come back. At one point, Elijah said he even wanted to die. He poured out everything he had, and he was now weary. But God gave him strength. If we faint not, he will renew our strength as the eagles, and you can outrun the chariots. What's a chariot equivalent today? A car. Outrunning a car would be very impressive in today's world. But if you can outrun the ways and the system of the world, then there's nothing that can stop you. Outrun the horses in time of peace, for we are warriors for Christ. And if we can do that in the time of peace, then there's nothing that you can't do through him.